Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in into the Stylogram Podcast, where we talk about the latest fashion news, trend reports and celebrity style. Talking about celebrity style, we're about to meet someone who has photographed many models and celebrities from Bollywood. Let's meet photographer Gary Taylor and let's not waste any more time and find out what gets him ticking or maybe I should say clicking. So hi Gary. Hello. You're famous now from what you told us just, just before kidding. this recording. Oh, no, no, you I'm, weren't I'm kidding. There was truth in that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean... Not famous, famous, no, but... you're famous. Th- it's a climb. There is it's a climb. A climb. Yeah, You've reached a certain a point, yeah. which is famous enough. So like tell us how you got here and how you got famous. Oh, I love telling this story. <laughs> uh, should I tell you the modest version? Of like, no, no. Give us a flamboyant version. Flamboyant version. Listen, I'm not flamboyant. <laughs> flamboyant version. Okay, so... Um, uh, I was in uh, Bollywood. I was assisting an executive producer for... Uh, three years okay and I was a filmmaker before I was a photographer I mean when I left college all I wanted to do was make films and you know like go to America and like just like enter Hollywood do that do the thing but then uh, when I thought of film school because it's compulsory and I got into like one of the best film schools I won't name names but I'll tell you later tell me later so then (laughs) um, uh, the thing is the fees were like way too expensive and I'll be honest I don't really come from money and stuff like that and it's not something that makes me you know insecure but I couldn't afford it and I figured I would just use you know like all my resources here and make it happen for me and then I I I lucked out I got I got to got to assist an executive producer I did five really big uh, assisted on really big uh, feature films like Bollywood ones? Yeah, Bollywood Like which ones? ones? Like Zanjeer, Shootout, oh. uh, David, uh, Vicky Dono. Wow. Towards its end. So it was it was a good run. But then it was not something that I I really wanted to do. Okay. I mean, because I, I was I was a filmmaker and then I was I was I was handling production, which is as people think it's it's the same, but it really isn't. Yeah. You know, so kind of felt a little stuck and a little like routine ish. Right. And then my mom passed away and okay. then that was kind of like, you know, it shakes you. Hmm. And then I just figured this is not something I want to keep doing and I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. So I stopped and I was a, I was a complete bum for two years because I had no idea okay. uh, about what to do with myself. But I was dating this chick and she was a model <laughs> and uh, I would just uh, randomly take photos and stuff like that. Yeah. When I had my exams, I was like in SL world taking photos. <laughs> you were SL like, world of all SL places. World, yeah. We were like trying to be all like <laughs> yeah. different. It was just so lame. The pictures huh. are so lame. But um, I had those photos with me and then I would just do it. Uh, when my mom got really sick, I, I quit my job to look after her. Okay. And so uh, my friends, like all the sexy girls would like just come over and be like, Chal, let's go to the beach and shoot. Like time passed. Like, yeah. Just, just having fun. But you knew your way around with the camera. Yeah. I mean, because yeah, of, I figured, yeah, I knew. I mean, how did you know? That's what I want to know. You never like I, studied that's such it, a right? Lame story. I've, I've never studied, but um, in 2006, uh, I was, I don't know if I'm supposed to, if I should say this, but you can say it. I was obsessed with the Victoria's Secret shows. Okay. Yeah. And, and they're beautiful. Yeah. And uh, one model in particular really caught my attention. Her name is Carolina Kurkova. Okay, yeah. And Carolina, yeah. yeah. And uh, I liked, I like, I love the proportions of her body, but I also love her personality. And I, I started like following her career. Right. And that opened me up to you know like fashion and photographers and like people like Anna Wintour. And then I, I've pursued all those uh, trains of thought. I mean, I, I read about them and stuff like that. And that's how time passed. So you pretty much just read about it and trained yourself. Yeah. But it's pretty technical, right? Photography, no, like everyone can't just do it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, um, it's just something. So I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not the most proactive person in the world. I think I get lucky a lot. Uh, so when, so if I have a shoot and if I have to learn something new, try out something new, I won't sit for weeks. And I'm sorry to everybody who I've worked with who is listening to this, but yeah, like the night before, I'll probably think, okay, maybe I should like just look up a little bit. And then uh, I th- I think I perform best under pressure. 
Okay. So the next morning, like when it's like a little before the shoot is about to start, yeah. then I'll come and experiment with the ideas I have in my head, and they normally just work out. So how does it work exactly? I mean, of course, you must be given a very strong brief, right? For like, yeah. especially an ad shoot and stuff. Yeah. It's not something that you can just do. Go no. to work and do. So then, once you have that brief, then you need to do your research, or are you told this is exactly what so we want you to do? It depends on the clients. I mean, with regard to commercial, you know, you see these memes on Facebook yeah. about how. Uh, client expectation yeah, and client yeah. budget it's yeah. complete reality right like i had the most i had like almost no budget and then they they wanted like this insane stuff and then of course they have a brief they ha- they had everything so i was just chilling i just had to come with my camera and like like shoot and direct a little bit and then all my magic lies with like the posts and stuff like that okay you know and so i mean but with regard to jobs like that it's yeah. not really a lot how how important do you think it is for you to connect with your subject um i think i think it's you have to have uh, a back and forth you have to have comfort i think i'm the kind of person i'm not bragging but when i shoot i'll just be i'll just be myself and i'll compliment and say something cheesy or say something but you something. have to right when you're a yeah. photographer but that's just, that's, that's just that's how, the shoot. I, how i am as a person i'll just like like be really cheesy and like say, oh my god so hot like so funny and yeah. so cute oh my so god you don't really so mean amazing. it No, For all the people who are listening <laughs> <laughs> no i do i do because i just i get so caught up in the moment i'm like oh my god you look amazing yeah and so i mean that just kind of and then you direct them and tell yeah. them like what works yeah. and what I mean, doesn't because what some I, people I, think works might not really work on yeah, camera yeah i don't direct too much because okay. then you lose then i mean the person loses uh, and then they get security. conscious they get well. conscious like oh, what am i doing wrong i'm like yeah. so do what do you feel like so I'll, i'll be like maybe you should dance a little bit because movement is really important i I work like that. Okay. I mean, and do you prefer doing like ad shoots or I know you've done a lot of like fashion weeks as well. What yeah. what what is you know what really gets you ticking? What really gets me ticking is creativity. Okay. I mean I I think that's where my strength lies. I mean now when it's commercial it's good money and it's 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 more exposure. Like an ad shoot you mean? Yeah, like an ad shoot, but it's yeah. not really creative because you have everything given to you. The whole yeah. plan someone's planned it out for you the way they want it. Yeah. You know, and the first time I did it, I was really taken aback because they had references, but I didn't expect them to copy the references like a thousand percent. Right. And I was like, but then there's nothing I'm bringing to the table. I'm just like click and then go. So which is which is the shoot that you think that you love the most of yours? Uh, and Sabia explain Sachi. it to us. Oh, I've seen that with Christian yeah. Louboutin. Yeah. So that was you know, the one before brilliant. that as well. Oh. So I'll tell okay. you uh, how um, I think. But didn't br- Sabia Sachi give you a very strong brief? Sabha Sachi gave me my break. Yeah. I mean, I I tell Not break, brief, like didn't he no, like No, no brief. But no he brief. he was he was the guy who just took my career up a notch. Okay. I was doing well before that, but then it just reached a whole new level. Okay. And I I tell I love how this happened. So, um I was uh, shooting for Wendell Rodericks and uh, I was in the building during the fittings. And then my friend from the Lakme social media team said to me, "Hey, you know what? Why don't you just go and shoot uh, Sabha Sachi?" Sabha Sachi's fittings, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll do that. I get to see his like mm. stuff and everything. And I, I go inside, and I'm really quiet, and I just take a few really nice photos, and I leave, and I give them the photos, and I have no credit because I shot for them. Yeah, you know. Uh, later on, uh, Lakme posts one of my photos, and I see that Sabha Sachi has posted it as well. Right. So it turns out he asked Lakme. Uh, he liked the photos so much, he asked Lakme to temporarily take it down till he posts it as his first look. Oh really? Yeah. Which Because, photo is this? Oh, uh, it, it's really old. Man, I'll show it to you. It's it's one with this. Explain model. it to us. Uh, it's it's just a, so it's really creative, but it's also not giving away too much. It's a sneak peek. Okay. It's a creative movement sneak peek. Okay. Of his garment and the model, so he really loved the composition. He's like, and he posted. He gave me credit as well. Wow. So during fashion week, I saw him standing, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like. Mr. Mukherjee, my name is Gary Taylor, and I'm the guy whose picture you posted as your first look. And he was like, "Oh, you know what? Um, I love it. Super creative. That's what we look for." And I'm like, "Thanks, sir. I mean, it was really it was honor for me and everything." Yeah. Uh, would it be possible for me to cover your uh, finale show? And he was like, "Do it for me officially." <gasps> wow. And just, and just, that's how it happened. That's how. Wow, it happened. that's a stroke of luck. But then, when I was at the show, like the finale, it was like a really small space backstage, and it yeah. was not really well lit. Lots of shadows, lots of dirt, movement. A tiny space with like two hundred people, and I was like, "Oh, you know what? I've messed up my career because I'm not going to get one good shot over <laughs> you." It's going to be terrible. And he's think, "Oh my god!" And he, I let him down, and he took a chance on me, and I was yeah. like freaking out. But yeah. then the pressure. But is, was I it delivered. just you, or do you have a team? It was just me. Even now. Yeah, even now. 
Really? I, I think so you don't I, have anyone with lights and all of no, that? No, I, I hire and I have assistants when I need lights. But um, like, yeah, I don't have a, some of the I, big I shoots, you need help. Of photographers. Oh. It's just me. Wow. Yeah. So what would you say are the three things that, you know, you were saying about dust and bad lighting and shadows. What are the three components for a good photograph? Um, I think vision, definitely lighting. And with regard to me, definitely the way you see, uh, the way you execute your vision when you edit or like post production post production i think post production is really important and i'm not talking about you know uh, like enhancing like body and stuff none of that but i'm just talking about so do you do the post production yourself i do the post myself yeah oh i mean it's my vision no i yeah. wouldn't trust anybody else to so that. how much of editing actually happens because you know there's all this like talk internationally about photo shoots and about editing and all of that how much would you say, you know, as a professional photographer, how much is real, the final image? Be honest. Yeah, honestly. I think... Because uh, well, it's industry. very easy to tuck in the stomach and yeah, to like yeah, slim yeah. down the thigh. It's the easiest thing possible. Yeah, it's the easiest thing possible. But I think uh, the industry image is changing to an extent. And as a photographer, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily about... Uh, with regard to, you know, like that kind of that kind of editing, there are kinds, obviously. Yeah. So with regard to that kind of editing, I think it's about like what the client wants. Right. You know, but I really think the industry is changing with regard to, you know, like size and all of that. I, I don't think like thin is in all the time. I think like... No, uh, not anymore yeah, at all. Not anymore. I think people are embracing curves, curves and, and all yeah. of that. And so it's a really good positive body image that's getting out. And it also happened because of a lot of backlash from the Adele photo or whatever. Yeah. You remember that, right? Yeah, Vogue. yeah, of course. Yeah. So I think there was so much backlash after that, that... Yeah. Uh, Things are settling down. Yeah. And um, at what what do you think, um, you know, about competition? Because I know there's like so many people who are doing what you're doing. But how do you set yourself apart from the others? Is there anything that you've thought about particularly? Um, I don't really think about it too much because um, I'm, I'm a mess. I mean, I... <laughs> That's the truth. It's the truth. It's okay. the truth. I'm, and everyone is, you know, I don't want to come here and say, oh, hey, whatever. But do you think I, creative people are a mess? I think, well, I am. Okay. I'm I'm like a super mess. I have like highs and lows, and I get oh, terrified, and I get oh, worried, and I, I I look at competition and I worry as well. But I don't I don't think oh my god they're doing so much better. I think oh my god, I have this to is up where my I can game. reach. And you're primarily a fashion photographer, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you enjoy this space, or is there other spaces that you would like to you know uh, kind of? I think enter? Uh, I was told by a really renowned uh, photographer. I've been doing this for a year and yeah. a half. So I think around two years ago, I just went for like a, a seminar and he told me, he's like, find what you like, whether it's street style, if it's fashion, if it's wildlife, if it's journalism, you know, find what you like and stick to it. So what do you like? I like fashion. Like what fashion? Like, do you like just taking the shots at Lakme Fashion Week no, or do you just like no, everything I'll, associated um, with it? I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning. I mean, see, I'll be honest and... I like aesthetics. I like art. I like I like the outfit. I understand beauty. I understand uh, composition. I understand all of that. Okay. So I think I'm learning, and I, currently, I, my point is to learn more about fashion because that's what matters. Right. right? You're a fashion yeah. Photographer. Really the, focusing on the fashion. On the fashion. Do you think it's harder working in this industry, like especially because you're dealing with like models and like you know the whole beauty aspect of it? Do you think? Like it's a harder thing than just taking like street style shots or like oh, definitely it, it takes longer hours. I think, I'm I think sure. every, uh, see even uh, I wouldn't say I have the best uh, street style sense as a photographer because yeah to be a great street style photographer it's not about composition so much it is but you you need to understand what's in tre- what what yeah, the trends yeah, are and absolutely I'm, I lack that so I okay. wouldn't I wouldn't know how to pick okay. You know? That's interesting. So I, lo- I love what I'm doing right now because so uh, currently I'm the official back like the official backstage photographer for Lakme Fashion Week. Oh, yeah, that, so that was that was a massive honor for me because Lakme is Lakme, man. Yeah, it's, it's, of it's, course. It's, yeah, and uh, what they ask me for is just creativity backstage. You know, make use of the shadows, the movement, the mess, and find a really interesting shot. Yeah, be creative while you're at it. And, that, and you that, love that. I think you just space. love the creativity. I love that. So give us some gossip from the backstage. There's no 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 come on of course there is there's a drama there's no drama I I know people have this uh, maybe they they think like fashions are like drama and like 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 in the movies but it's no cat fights with the models that you never never no come on you don't give us anything I'll be super honest the girls are incredible so I'll tell you and I I really hope she's listening Uh but 
a really good friend of mine is uh, Sucheta Sharma James. Okay. And she's been a, a supermodel for the last I think like 10 years. Ha. Huh. She's a legend, okay? Huh. And I think uh, two years, two and a half years ago, and so Chetha, if you're listening, I'm really sorry, but two and a half years ago, uh, when um, I went to Fashion Week, yeah, I asked her for a picture, and we took like a super awkward photo together. What do you mean by awkward? Like I was like, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like standing, just your head like, popping there, like yeah, a dead, was, like a dead so head. <laughs> I was too afraid to stand too close to like her as well. Like a mugshot of a criminal. But now she's like a really good friend of mine. So yeah. for me, that's like. moving forward you know and she's been like really inspiring and such and you know she doesn't have to be yeah she doesn't have to like like take time and like you know advise you what she does so oh, great. I mean, that's so nice to, that's how everybody is do you think it's easier shooting like beautiful thin people or do you think that it's harder no i think uh, honestly and honestly i'm not i'm not giving out like a a, a miss world speech but i think everyone's beautiful no of course i totally agree but i'm yeah. talking about like in terms of photography like the final product do you think no, it's easier i don't think it i don't think it it's that deep i think it's way deeper i think it's not only the way the person looks physically i think it's their personality it's, it's the personality like. it's it's the personality it's it's very simple things like aesthetics like the outfit the lighting all of those things really matter yeah I mean, if you find the right spot, the right moment, then anything you can get like Except fantastic. That expression picture. can yeah. just be like priceless. As For well. me, I love capturing moments, and it's moments are what moments are movement when people aren't aware. Yeah, they're moving around like uh, I need makeup, I need hair, jewelry, whatever. But then, like maybe someone's just adjusting their, yeah, you know, like their outfit. So, is there a reason you stayed away from wedding photography then? Because that's a lot of moments right uh, there. Everyone's everyone's been uh, suggesting wedding photography, but and. I don't know. I mean, it's just been something that's been told to me so often. I would consider it. Uh, I mean, I just don't find it as appealing. Why? Maybe pre-wedding, you know, be creative with like. Uh, it's just a whole new territory for me. So I'm I'm considering pre-wedding. I've, I have a few lined up. Oh my But God, even I, wedding would be tomorrow. great because there'd be like travel involved. Plus, yeah. there'd be like all these moments. I think weddings But, um, are made of I, all I of that. I want uh, to accomplish. Uh, much more in this direction and then i would like uh, when i was comfortable when i was like more stable more consistent with work then i'll probably look around yeah but i'm really uh, i love what i'm doing right now i think now. Sh- shooting like regular people might be a little harder as well right because they don't know the angle of the camera and stuff but again moments is not about them knowing the angle it's about me finding uh, the right angle so yeah. i mean i would like i mean i've really thought about it i would really like to do a uh, You know, like these really colorful weddings and capture yeah, moments and stuff like, like that. Yeah, because like with Indian weddings are so yeah. beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yes, yeah. so I would love to, but I mean, I've not really thought about it because I'm really enjoying what I'm you're doing. You're enjoying what you're doing. Yeah. And what do you think about you know the Indian um, fashion industry re- as related to photography as opposed to the international you know photography? And do you think that we're kind of there? Yeah, we're kind or we of there. Or we are very far away. I mean, I think there's diversity. The right? type of photography is very different internationally, no, though. Oh, uh, uh, we're catching up. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't Maybe think it's. Maybe the big designers are yeah. catching up. Yeah, I mean, there's diversity in everything. You have designers that are fantastic and on par, and even further along, and you have designers that are stuck ten years ago. Yeah, doesn't so there's diversity with like photographers, everything with regard to that sense. So it's fine. Okay, but you think that we're kind of yeah. getting there? We're, we're super getting there. I mean, look at designers like Sabia Sachi and. Yeah, I think There he's one so of the many. few, and he's yeah. anyways always been like a pioneer. Yeah, he's like are there so any others that you really would like to work with, or that you love their work? Any others? I I recently worked with uh, Monisha Jessing. She's got fabulous she's stuff as I well. Even Falconi and Shane Peacock. Yeah, I, I've I've been talking to them, and I would really love for their them to stuff like. Their stuff is just amazing, yeah. and it's so international. Yeah. And again, I think it's all about moments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Everyone's doing their amazing work. Everyone has a type. Everyone has a style, and they're just doing fantastically. Yeah. And do you think that like props and stuff like help a shoot, or do you think it takes away? But that from that it? entirely depends on the concept, right? So the do theme. you prefer something which is very grand, or do you just prefer like basic, you know, emotions and faces? Like basic emotions. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. I would really prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't. I would love to. Honestly, like I would love to shoot. Uh, You know, maybe wedding gowns like pronovias and stuff like that. Yeah. Because they are so elegant and they are so grand, and you have to like, 
you have to create like an idea that's on par with the outfit and just make it work together and not overpower i mean that's something i would really love to do give, give us some like makeup tricks for women for photography Jeez, like what I have works no idea. and what come on of course you must be knowing Yikes. yeah come on uh, you were just talking about your shiny head right now shiny, and it doesn't work for photography no so then that's i didn't know this trick right there that it can't be shiny <laughs> come on tell oh, us something i have no idea Oh uh, makeup 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 normally i just listen to music like and like shine on the face and stuff is good or no no idea are you serious <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> what I mean, are you because, saying i mean there are uh, when you're shooting you have a concept and you have a theme that goes along with it you know you yeah. have a color palette i mean with regard what's your color scheme and accordingly you make the ma- you work with the makeup and hair but like i'm just talking about a regular girl like you know just someone who's not a wedding she just wants to like take a good photograph oh. like what's what, what would work like in a photograph um as a photographer just know your angles i mean everyone has their angle and maybe like 90% of the time they're right yeah do you know. think that everyone has a good side and a bad side like well yeah i think angle. this is like my good side and this i hate my my face really side. yeah i just don't know why but i've never figured out my good side my bad side but i know when it's a good photo and when it's a bad photo yeah Yeah, of course. Everyone knows when it's a good photo or a bad photo. I mean, I mean, look, if it's just a normal thing and you're not thinking about it, just work your angles. And I think with regard to makeup, less is definitely more, right? I mean, yeah. I, I just I mean, not for that. If you have dark circles and you need stuff under your eyes, I guess. Don't pretend like you don't know how is it possible? I swear, you're I a don't. fashion photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to all the makeup artists. I know. Aisha, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I just trust shocked. you so much that I don't really pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what's next for you then. Now, fashion week. Like now fashion week. Like immediately but like in terms of like career goals and stuff as well. Oh, career goals, I want to I want to go to Italy. Okay. Um I know it's not easy to make the jump. You want to uh, go and live there? I want to go I don't I don't necessarily want to live there. I want to see the place it's like my dream destination, but I want to I want to go there on a holiday and make work happen for myself. That's something I know I can do. Okay. But but you need to be there but in person. But why you want to go international? Yeah. Why? I mean, why not? But there must I mean, be something I mean, driving you. Um just I I really want to travel. I want to see the place and I think the work I do it would really fit in well with regard to the, with, okay. the, with these plans. I mean, uh, that's something I I intend on doing this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, wow. Go Look to forward to seeing you happen. going yeah, to Italy so. then. On that note, let's take our first break. We'll be yes. right back with lots more fun stuff. Yeah. It was rated Goregaon's most intelligent podcast. It was the best new podcast of the day when it was launched. And now, the irreverent brand of attempted humor and botched education is coming your way. You have many burning questions. So what is the Brexit? What do mathematicians do, man? I mean, introducing Simplified, a weekly podcast that deconstructs issues around you such as what on earth is Bitcoin? So Bitcoin is just an other currency like the rupee or dollar. The difference here is it's a virtual currency. Do resolutions and cameras really matter? They think that just because a number is higher what they're getting is actually more. And encryption. So encryption okay is a process of encoding messages in such a fashion that only the intended recipient sees it in its intended format. Hosted by Narendra Shanoy, a very wise man who can't stop making BG Woodhouse references, and Deepak Gopalakrishnan, who calls himself Chuck, a madman who can't stop making poor jokes. Narin, what do you call a forest where you find all the latest news? Uh oh, I don't have a good feeling about a that. A topical rainforest. Follow Chuck and Narin as they scour Google and read Wikipedia for you and condense it into language you can understand. Simplify. helping you appear smarter to an audience that knows no different and we're back with ace photographer gary taylor who's going to give us some really fun tips and tricks Lord. so gary tell us some like new photography trends that you're loving and don't tell me you don't know any like i don't know what i mean by trends but like you know yeah. what i mean like settings like things that are like really working right now um i re- i really don't understand i mean the trends with regard to trends and stuff but My moment is all about black and white. I want to be uh, Rafik Saeed. Okay. Uh, he's a he's brilliant. He's he's the black and white like the photographer God. in this country. Yeah, and he's amazing and Oh, you love black and white and yeah. not color, really? Yeah, I mean, wow. there's something about it and um I Is really it harder to 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 take black and white pictures? It, 
it is harder when you uh, when you pay attention to shadows and and sh- like I mean you can just like take a normal photo and make it black and white, but that doesn't necessarily mm. mean it's good. Right. I mean you have to pay attention to the depth and shadows add depth. Yeah. And he's brilliant with that, and so you know understanding that is something I'm working on. Okay. I'm, I'm not close. Yet. And anything <laughs> else that you like particularly, like even internationally. Internationally. Any type of like photography. Yeah, oh, internationally, that you love. my favorite. Mm, my fave my aspiration my favorite photographer is nick knight okay and uh, he's the kind of guy he's an artist he's like complete artist painter artist so okay he takes photos and if he takes a photo and his photo looks fantastic and yeah. you think oh my god wow that's amazing but he's not done he's not even like 40% like 60% done what so do he'll you mean? work on it and he'll he'll like he'll the post production yeah post he'll make it artistic he'll merge art with like photography oh like, like what do you paint. mean? What does he do? Like, 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 like m- imagine a painting meets a photo. Like an actual painting. Yeah. Oh. So he creates like he overlaps uh, images them. like that. Yeah. And it's it's unbelievable. That is like an art piece essentially. Yeah. Not just it's, a photograph. That's that's something I want to do. That's something I want to try. But I mean, I like I've said before, I'm growing and I'm learning, and uh, doing something like this requires resources as well. Yeah. Currently, I'm in the phase where I do what people ask me to because, like, I get clients and then I'm being paid for what I do. Yeah. And to produce a test shoot on that scale, it's insane. It's like yeah. super yeah. expensive, and so. So, what do you think is like you know in the photography world like an absolute no-no? Like, what does not work? Um, according to me. Yeah, uh, according to what you. What does not work? What does not work? I don't. Uh, I I I would honestly say bad composition, and I wouldn't be able to explain to you what what I think composition is. I mean, like, what do you mean? So, uh, what I honestly don't understand when I when I look at international trends, I mean, you see certain types of pictures uh, with a girl who's not particularly made up, or hair is not like like incredibly styled, and she's probably just wearing like a tank top and uh, chadis, and she's standing near like a bathroom, and there's like a photo. Yeah, I don't understand that. And vision. why that does so well? I don't know. And if it does sometimes well, they do really well on but Instagram. It's online. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand that vision. I really don't. I'm really? I'm sure there's uh, there's explanations behind, and I would love for someone to sit me down and explain it to me. <laughs> but that's something I really don't understand. Because you don't see like any creative process there. No, I mean there's no there's no uh, emphasis on fashion or lighting or hair or makeup or framing or location. Maybe it's just like a moment. In, in an every girl's life, you know. Maybe that's what they're capturing. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe yeah. it's a moment. And I guess I have to ask you this because like our listeners would definitely want to know this. Give us some tips on how to take the perfect selfie. Oh, Lord. You have to like, even I want to know. I don't take selfies. But now you're a photographer and you can't just say yeah. don't. This is like that you art. Tell this us. is like that Come on. TV where she lights up the entire the yeah. shoot with her flash. Um, Come on, tell us. Find use your angles and find the right light. Uh, maybe not. How over- do you find the right light? Maybe not. Ob- I know. I know. Uh, girls love taking picture uh, selfies from. Like, yeah, is that a up. thing that you have to put your camera all uh, the way up I, I and then take it? I honestly think I think with that angle you just look uh, thinner. Yeah, you do. It's true. But I I don't necessarily agree with that. Why? I mean, look. What? What's the big deal? Just take it. Like show your face properly and. But then doesn't your double chin and stuff show? Like oh lord! Like then it does. Don't, don't put it under. You just put it like slightly above. Okay, and then what else? So maybe take a selfie with really good lighting. That's but not. But how? What is good lighting? Overhead. So See, where does the light have to be? Maybe in front of you. So if this lights there, maybe just angle your face like that. Angle your face like what? Angle your face. Like give us I degrees expect- because people can't see you. I know. I'm just like making. I'm like showing actions. <laughs> so tell actions us right how now. many degrees you should make. Okay, your look. Face so overhead light okay. would uh, would bounce on your forehead and probably give you like dark circles. Okay. So take a picture where uh, you hold your phone parallel to your face. Okay. And raise both higher. Oh, okay. So the light is not completely falling from top, but it's it's in front of you. Find the light that's in front of you that'll light your face up perfectly and. I mean, if you want to look like thinner or whatever, just maybe like slightly <laughs> higher, but not like super higher. <laughs> not like all the way. Yeah. I know everyone's just yeah, going yeah, higher like, when, and when higher. When people ask me for selfies, like, when my friends are like, let's take a picture, and they'll go like really high and I'm like, but all you can see is my head. Yeah. Like, That's true. All you can see is the face. You don't see the body, which yeah. is why you look so thin, which is why all yeah. everyone looks look so thin. thin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Selfies, whatever. <laughs> okay. Gary, now we're going to do the rapid fire rounds. What, what, you have to be we, very, very rapid. No, no. Now you've been told. We caught you by surprise. Okay. So much of pressure. <clears throat> What's your 
inspiration. I'm not being rapid enough. No, no you have to be rapid. What's my Come inspiration yeah. uh, in life? In life, um, just um, comfort. Um, I've said I don't come from money, and I would really. I mean, that drives you. I want to give my dad uh, like a super comfortable life. How sweet! Yeah. Who's your style icon? My style icon. Yeah. Lord, I have no style icon. Come on, what do you I, say? I, I buy you must everything. Be somebody. Like any like celebrity. Celebrity. Uh, Jesus, I have no idea. There's like no Bollywood one that you Hollywood. look up to at all. Bollywood or Hollywood? Anyone. Anywhere. Pick. Wow, I can't think of one person. That's here. awesome. That like you have your own style. Okay, we'll just go with that. No, no, I don't. I, I honestly think um, I'm super grunge and super uh, lumberjack. Huh. Just boots and like chill. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Your favorite photographer? Nick Knight. Ah, like you mentioned. Yeah. Some of your favorite timeless photographs. Which ones are they? Sab Yeah, yeah. you love it that love much, huh? It, yeah. Like the ones that and, you've and taken. And now Monisha Jaising, I love the work and yeah. she was incredible to work with. Okay. Glamorous or natural shots? A mix of both. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Best thing about your job? The people that you interact with. Really nice with. people. If not this, what would you do? Filmmaker. A film. You would. You said would. you didn't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, it, it came before this, and I would definitely. I mean, if I never, if this venue never okay. opened up, I'd probably be doing that. Okay. Complete the sentence. Photographs are timeless. Craziest shoot you've ever done. Craziest shoot. Uh, for Micromax and Coca Cola, the concept was optical illusion photography. Yeah. So thank you, Talent House, for that. I'm, I'm like giving like a speech. That's but, okay. Um. So. Micromax and Coke, the idea was optical illusion, like I said, and you had to be super creative with the shots where you hold the product in the foreground, and you know the model goes way behind, and you find an image like he's probably like if, if I'm if I'm playing with Coca Cola, like I, I hold the can really close, yeah, to the camera and then and it looks like the, so it looks the like cola is in dropping into the top, can, yeah, like that. yeah, and you did that. that. That's amazing. so cool. We went, we went to Bangalore, we went to Delhi, we went uh, Agra, super. Indoor, sounds fantastic. Shot all over. Your favorite gadget? My camera. Like I want camera? to buy. I want to buy. I want to get my hands on a GoPro. Okay. So I can like do underwater stuff and you can do bungee jumping yeah. and what's when you travel? What do you take with you? Like give us two things. Uh, when I'm traveling on work or otherwise. Whatever your choice. My toothbrush. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing. My phone. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the one thing you wish you knew before you started photography? I wish I had like a hundred percent, like ten on ten knowledge on technical aspects, like equipment and stuff like that. Okay, how do you educate yourself to take better photographs? Um, I have a routine. I follow really interesting blogs. I mean, just to stay uh, up to date with regard to trends and stuff. And I watch a lot of movies because there are there's a lot of uh, color and creative in movement in movies as well, like music videos. So if you freeze frame, that's a great shot. Yeah. You know, so uh, director Peter Jackson, he he directed the Lord of the Rings. Mm. Uh, his method and his idea is something I really relate to. Yeah, you, nice. If you freeze any frame in those movies, it's a good shot. Yeah. So minimum shutter speed to avoid blurry pictures. Oh my god, I have no idea. Really? Yeah. Uh, what do I use? What do I use? What do I use? So ask the person Let's not pass to move. this question. Yeah, please <laughs> give us one career goal. I think you've already told us, but the Vogue cover. Yeah, that's Super what you want to do. Yeah. Have you tried going to them? Oh, uh, I've, I've done. I've worked with them a little bit, and I, no, I don't think I'm there yet. Okay. But I would like to be. Okay. The, the favorite soundtrack that pumps you up. I like the Killers. Okay. But they're really depressing, so don't listen to them. So why do they pump you up? That's weird. I just like the 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 song. The song sounds so lovely. Oh, your prized possession? My camera. Okay. Your life mantra? A who, what, when? Who, what, when? No, no. What do you say? Your life. Your life mantra. I have no idea. Really? What do I tell myself? Uh, I'm gonna think of like, I I don't know. I mean, I think it's like really personal. I I honestly believe in. Uh, uh, don't do to me what I wouldn't do to you. Yeah, that's yeah. a great one. Yeah. I think if I everyone followed that, that, everyone would be happy. Yeah. And finally, to end, what makes you smile? Food. 
क्या डजन शो आई डोंट नो वेयर इट गोस आई टू बी रियली फैट सो देन व्हाट हैपेंड नाउ के बस दिस इज नॉट द फाइनल क्वेश्चन व्हाट्स योर फिटनेस रिजीम अम I'll, I'm going to sound so stupid because no, people no, are us. people are so. Now we want to know since now you have such a great Look, body. So this really works for me and me alone. Um, I no fried stuff, okay. no rice, uh, lots of vegetables and dal, chapati. Are you a vegetarian? No, but okay. I like vegetable. Oh, I love wow. dal, bhaji. Yeah. And and then work out as well. I'm sure. Walk a lot. I'm super lazy. I go to the gym like very 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 maybe like once a week. So you just walk. Yeah. Where? Just walk. I just walk. Music, walk, think. Yes. On yeah. the streets. On the streets. Wow, that seems easy Honestly, enough. Yeah. That's wow. Great. Well, Gary, thank you so much for talking to us, and we look forward to seeing your photograph in the next Vogue uh, magazine soon. So. Fingers yeah. crossed. I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah. And it was really lovely talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening to our episode. You can stay in touch with us before you catch us next week on Facebook at Stylogram Official and on Instagram at Stylogram underscore Official. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes or SoundCloud or any other podcast app. You can also catch us on YouTube on Indusbox Media. See you soon. Hey man, just help me out, man. I need some. I need some podcast, man. I haven't had a fix in a week. Just need some. Don't you worry about it. I got podcast galore for you, man. Just go to ivmpodcast dot com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, man. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs>